guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Leanne the Kiwi Yogi and today we're going to be doing a yummy yin practice at the wall. Um, so make sure you've got a nice clear space around you that you can get your legs up the wall and have a little space either side. Make sure the floor is cleared and grab your mat, a block if you need to and let's roll this out. We are be a little stronger. All right, so straight from here, we're gonna come straight into a dangling position. So dangling is when we're doing an inversion where the head is lower than the heart, and we're actually gonna use the wall to um, lean against and get a little bit more pressure down the back of the legs. So you can take your feet into a nice comfortable position. I'll talk to you as I go it through, but essentially we just wanna come into like a half kind of lift, and then we wanna let the head just hang down, and then we're gonna turn the back body in towards the wall. And you're essentially gonna just creep your back onto the wall. So you want your upper back, your shoulder blades resting on the wall. And you can take your feet about hip width apart, toes to face forward, and just kind of shrug your body down the wall. You want your head to come down towards the floor. And so this might not be a option of coming so low for you. So just take your feet a little further away, bend your knees and just let the rest, the top of the shoulders and the back, the upper back, just kind of resting on the wall. Okay, so just take a moment here to kind of just rest in, find your space of resting down. This is really an awesome way to traction the spine. Let the fingers just kind of hang toward the floor, letting the back of the hands rest to the mat. And just start to close down your eyes. Just feeling into these sensations. Feel the feet pressing down into the floor and feel that energy shift up the legs toward the hips. Now, if you're feeling like your hamstrings are absolutely screaming, just bend your knees, bend your knees as much as you need to. But ultimately, we do wanna to work to straightening the legs without locking the knees out. So you always wanna micro bend. And then you're just feeling the upper body. So the torso is just falling towards the floor and the weight of the head is pulling on the spine. So this should be able to just kind of gently shake and nod your head, just letting all the tension in the neck go. Feeling the stretch through the back body, draw the belly button in, release the pelvis, fold forward a little bit more. So just take your time coming into this. There's no hurry to get into this uh, deep and quickly. We really just want to take it nice and slow. Let the back of the neck be long, gently tuck the chin in towards the mid throat. Allow the shoulders and the arms to become heavy. You'll start to feel a, a lot of sensations. Try not to collapse down into the joints. Keep pressing through the feet just to activate through the legs. But then feeling the torso just softening over. Start to lengthen the breath here, noticing the space of the breath as it moves through the body. Starting to open the lines of communication of breath with physical body. Try to stay still here for the next 30 seconds or so. If you can stay a little longer, Stay a little longer. Just feeling the weight falling forward, shoulders releasing, head releasing. And you can either choose to stay here or we're slowly going to make our way back down by bending our knees. So you can take your fingertips to the floor, either side of the feet, slightly step your feet back and just start to bend your knees or shift the weight back a little. So your upper back and spine come off the wall. Just take a moment here, not resting so deeply, so the weight back into the heels. And even take a little ragdoll here, taking hand to opposite elbow and let the body just hang. So just feeling that space as we come into 
little ragdoll to release. Maybe it's not as intense. Letting the spine still go. Option to stay resting on the wall if need be. And then it's from here, we'll just slowly release our hands. Okay, take fingertips to the floor and then just slowly start to bend your knees and lower your hips down to the floor. So you're coming into almost a squat. Now we're just gonna turn around so slowly and we're gonna come into a wall squat. So just taking your back onto the wall feet down to the floor. Take your hands to your heart center. Now don't worry if the heels don't come down all the way to the floor, that's okay. You can stay up on the, on the balls of the feet, but we ultimately want to rest the back and the spine on the wall as much as we can. So we really just wanna feel the lower back releasing, pressing the elbows into the knees and drawing the knees wide. So press the palms together, relax the shoulders, pressing shoulders towards the hips, keeping the neck and space around the neck nice and long. Just gonna sit into a seat here. The option is resting, takes a little bit of a pressure off the lower back and through the hips. But if you do wanna get into it deeper, you can just take your bottom or lower back off the wall and you can lower down. So if you're quite open through the hips, you may feel like you can come all the way down and sit into your squat. Let's close down our eyes here. Just again, being aware of the breath flowing in and out of the body. Just feeling the sensations, the tingling on the skin, the warmth, of the breath on the tips of the nostrils. Feel the sensation of your sacrum, your tailbone, just releasing down to the floor. Feel the sensation of the shoulders pressing back toward the hips. Feel the sensation of the heart lifting and broadening, opening up to the front of your body. Let your breath be your guide. So without forcing the breath, it's in yoga that we naturally allow it to slow down and lengthen it. We become witness to our breath, becoming one with it as we watch it dance and weave throughout our practice. Sometimes it gets a little quicker and a lot of the time we like it to slow down, particularly in yin. So let's just take one more minute here Sitting in our squat, notice where you're holding any tension, still in the joints and the muscles. And just direct your attention there to release it. Breathing into the space, allowing everything to just relax. Slowly begin to open your eyes and slowly start to release your hands. Take your fingertips to the floor and roll your hips forward and come over onto your knees. So you gently want to take the kneecaps down to the floor and from behind you, you just want to tuck your toes. We're going to come into a little toe squat here. So just tucking the toes, making sure you pull the little pinky toes out either side and sitting the bottom onto the heels into that toe squat. So we're activating all the meridians um, all the meridian lines in the feet and we're allowing the weight of the torso and the hips to sink down into the heels. Okay, so you're getting a gentle pressure, maybe it's intense pressure through the tops of the feet, allowing the toes to flex, but we're really trying to open and stretch the entire sole of the foot. So if you've got your back to the wall, making sure 
that the bottom is sitting down onto the heels. You can rest the shoulder blades onto the wall and continue to sit the weight of the buttocks down onto the heels. Close down your eyes. We won't stay here too long. If for any reason that you need to come out of this, just gently lifting up onto the knees to release for a moment and then just making your way back into this space, tucking the toes, sitting back onto the heels. We really want to start to work with getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. And the wall here is giving you that beautiful space to kind of melt into. It's your comfort, it's your friend in this practice. So let's utilize it, just feeling the space. Beautiful. Slowly start to lean the weight forward into the knees. Take your fingertips to the floor. You're going to untuck your toes, take tops of feet down into the floor. So shuffle the shins forward a little bit more. And we're just going to sit up into a kneeling. So releasing the toes, the tops of the feet now resting to the floor, the thighs at the top of the calves, the calves at the top of the shins, shins into the mat. Rest the hands down onto the thighs. Again, sit back into the wall, shoulder blades resting to the wall shoulders pressing down towards the hips. Keep the spine nice and long, stacking the spine tall. Close down your eyes. Continue to breathe all the way into the belly. So deepen the breath now as we, in yoga, we like to take the breath in through the nose and down into the lungs. Travel that breath all the way down into the belly. So the belly will expand and balloon up as you breathe in. And then as you exhale, you'll draw the belly back in towards the spine and that breath will reverse its way out through the nostrils. Just feeling the release through the tops of the feet, feeling the sensations in the legs as the weight of the body compresses the lower limbs. Releasing. Notice how your pelvis is feeling in space right now. What kind of tilt have you got through the pelvis? Are you rocking the weight back? Are you trying to flatten your lower back? Have you got a beautiful little curve in your lower back? Or is it overextended where your ribs are jutting out and your hips are tilting forward a lot? Let's try to find a little bit of balance, feeling into that space. You can either stay here for the next minute or so, or we're gonna come into hero pose, which is a little bit more intense for those that are a little, um, a little more restricted through the shins as such. So what you can do is come over onto your knees. You're gonna take your knees a little wider and you're gonna sit your bottom to the floor in between your ankles, okay? So there's a lot of compression. So if you've got a lot of knee discomfort and pain, you may choose not to do this one. So you do want to have your knees in line with your hips. So the legs are parallel with each other and the hands can just rest atop of the thighs or even rest to the floor. So whatever is more comfortable for you. Try to keep the heart open, shoulder blades again, pressing back to the wall, draw the belly in, lengthen through the spine. And again, we're going to close down our eyes. So yin is all about going in a little deeper. It's a quite a passive style of yoga. So that's why we like to use the wall and lots of props because we really want the body to melt, to let go. And the resistance that you may be feeling is your own resistance against gravity, against the tension in your body that's been stored in your muscles, in your ligaments, in your joints and also in your mind. So that resistance that you may be feeling to stay here, to sit and find comfort in this pose, may be stemming from your mind more from than your body. So just sit with that without judgment.
And if you feel your mind becoming quite judgmental and critical, then just bring your attention to your breath. The one constant wave of prana, of energy floating in and out of your body. Focus your attention there. Let go, release, and breathe. Yeah, just release your hands back to your thighs. If your thighs, slide your fingers back to the mat. Release, take your feet out to one side and you're gonna take your right hip over towards the wall. Okay, so over towards the wall. And then from here, you're gonna take um, the right shin up the wall. And then it's from there, you're gonna step the left foot forward and you're gonna rise up onto the left thigh. Okay, so that foot is still on the wall as we sit down into a little bit of a lunge here. So we wanna feel the opening through the front of the hip flexor. And you wanna feel like you're getting a little bit of a stretch. So you wanna tuck the tailbone under. Okay, so if this is too intense, just simply place your hand on the wall, slide your knee forward and have a little bit more space between your bottom and the wall and get yourself into that position where you know that it's a little bit more comfortable and bearable for you so that you can move deeper into it rather than doing injury. So for me, I'm taking that foot in, sliding the knee in, taking the foot up the wall, and I'm taking my left ankle beneath my left knee. So resting the hands to the thighs, start to shift the weight back in towards the wall. Okay, so shifting the weight of the buttocks back towards the heel, resting, opening through the front of your hip flexor, a really deep stretch through the quad. Let's just stay here for about a minute. If you feel uh, too much pressure through the knee joint, you can take a blanket or a cushion in underneath your right knee. Try to keep the shoulders soft, relaxing. Keep pressing the knee down and keep pulling the front of your right hip open. Keep broadening through the collarbones. Keeping your balance, your foot resting on top of the wall still. Let's start to shift the weight forward now into the left foot, shifting the hips forward. And we're just gonna let that knee kind of surpass the toes. You can take the fingers to the floor and sink down into the hips. And then shift the weight back, rising on up, coming back up onto that left knee. And then shift the weight forward. Taking fingertips to the floor, sit the hips down nice and low. So it's quite an intense stretch for the front of the shin, getting into that calf a little deeper. And then slowly shift the weight back, releasing the left foot and taking the knee to the ground, release the right foot up off the wall and sit the weight back onto the heel. So we're gonna simply change sides from here. So we're gonna shift the weight forward, take the fingers to the floor, then just step that left knee back to the position that you need that was ideal for you with the foot up the wall. So you want the top of the foot on the wall and then just gently step the right foot forward this time. So you want the knee above the ankle, okay? Slowly start to rise on up, start to lengthen the spine, tuck the tailbone under and press down through the knee as you open up through that hip flexor. Again, just drawing and tucking the tailbone under, squeeze that thigh on, pressing it down. And then we're just gonna sit here for a bit. So if you want to, you can stay up on the thigh. If you're quite open, you can actually make your way all the way to the wall. 
and gently hop that right foot in and get that stretch that way. There's no right, wrong way, and it certainly uh, doesn't matter um, how it looks, it's really how it feels. All right, just start to tuck a little bit more, feeling the opening. If you're really not feeling that so much, then just adjust your body how you need to before we come over into a deep lunge with the right leg. So making sure the sole of foot is down into the floor, nice and firm. I'm gonna shift the weight forward on that back knee. So your fingers come down to the floor and you'll see that my knee surpasses my ankle and my toes and I sit the weight forward of my hips. Really wanna sink my hips down nice and low. Breathing there, releasing. Shoulders still pressing back toward the hips. Breathing all the way into the belly. Let's shift the weight back now. Shift the hips back. Take the hand to the thigh and rise on up. Lengthening the spine. Stacking the torso on top of that left knee, tucking the tailbone under, drawing the belly in, lifting the spine, hands resting on the thigh. Breathe all the way into the belly. Smooth breath in. And the long exhales out. slowly releasing come forward release the fingers down and then from here just releasing that foot up off the floor taking the knee back and releasing to the ground now just take it nice and easy with the knees but you're going to roll over onto one side onto your bottom let's just take a moment here to extend the legs forward and long okay we've had a lot of compression through the uh, knees and now let's just open them up through the back of the knees and let them go. Give them a gentle rub and soften them down. And slowly just making your way over onto your bottom to face the wall. We're actually gonna recline down onto our backs, okay? So laying down onto your back. And then from here, just laying on the back, we wanna take the right foot up onto the wall and we want that foot in line with the knee so one line like it was a tabletop all right now if your hips are still close into the wall then just gently shuffle them back and then we want to start to draw the left knee in towards the chest and then just take the ankle the outside of the ankle to the top of the right knee and slowly start to take the left knee toward the wall Okay, so we're keeping that left outer ankle resting at the top of the thigh, and we're pressing the left knee towards the wall. So like a reverse pigeon. So you keep pressing that knee toward the wall. Make sure the spine is nice and long and the shoulder blades rest to the floor. You can close down your eyes here. Just breathing deep. Smooth breaths, long breaths. Just allowing everything to release from the body as you exhale. So try to keep the hips even. So if you feel your weight shifting and the knee coming out toward the left, then just gently draw the hips square. And you can even release the hands to the floor, the back of the hands to the floor. And if you want to go a little further, just shuffle the hips in a little closer. So shuffle your bottom in towards the wall. So that's going to Deep in the stretch, it's gonna draw the knee in closer, you're gonna press it, you're gonna get a stronger stretch for the outside of the hip. Okay, so close your eyes here. We'll stay here for a couple of minutes. 
Breathe into the space. Notice where your attention goes when silence settles in. Are you able to watch from a place of silence rather than try to make yourself silent? Can you imagine that you are silence looking out, noticing all the sounds? Around you. within you. And as you start to settle in and be still, can you watch from a place of stillness? And notice what's still moving because we are energy and we are life. So this constant movement in the body, can you notice that from a place of stillness? Feeling the rise and the fall of the breath. That movement like waves in the ocean. Maybe you can feel tingling sensation, pulling sensation through the hip, the leg. Maybe you feel tension creep into the neck or the shoulders. Can you watch those sensations, those sounds from a place of silence and stillness? Start to release, so let's take that left leg all the way over toward the right. So you're crossing the thighs here. Now if your bottom is nice and close to the wall, you have the option to just lift up your hips and shuffle back, create a little bit of space. We're gonna come into a supine twist from here. So we wanna have a little space either side, right? So because our top knee is over toward the right, we're gonna take the knees over that way and shuffle the hips toward the left. So how that looks is press your foot into the wall, tuck and draw your belly in, tuck the tailbone under, shift the hips slightly over toward the left, not a lot, and then let the knees kind of fall over toward the right. Now you can take your arms into that capital T, that giant T shape, and you're gonna feel an intense stretch all the way down the side of the body. Try to relax the shoulders down, turn the palms to face up if you haven't already, and breathe. Breathe deep and breathe long. Again, attune to those sensations. Attune to those sounds within and around you. Allow the weight of the knees to surrender over. Allow the left shoulder blade to sink in toward the floor. Twisting through the belly, spine twisting heavily. Just take a moment to adjust and then sink a little deeper.
starts to finalize the side with three more breaths, moving in through the nose, all the way to the belly. So you want that belly to continue to expand as you inhale, whatever space it's got. And then as you exhale, use a twist to go a little deeper, drawing the belly in a little more, compressing, nourishing, twisting those vital organs, creating new blood flow, twisting the toxins out. Taking that final breath. And then we slowly just start to rise back on up, rolling the hips, the lower back to the floor. Taking the right foot up onto the wall, shift the hips back in line with the torso and releasing and uncrossing the left leg. All right, so from there we'll come straight onto the other side. So draw the right knee in this time. So the left solar foot to the floor, making sure you've got one line, uh, a direct line from the knee to the foot on the wall. Crossing the right outer ankle over top of the left thigh and then just pressing the right knee towards the wall. So just adjust your body however you need to. Shoulders pressing towards the hips, so space around the neck. Try to let the tension through the neck and shoulders release. Feeling the shoulder blades and the whole back of body resting to the floor. And if you did so on the other side, just releasing your arms, taking the back of the hands to the floor. And if you needed to go a little deeper, shuffling the hips in towards the wall, trying to get that nice even weight of the hips, pressing the knee away and getting that beautiful stretch through the outside and into your right hip. Feel all the sensations here. Feel the gentle pressure and the texture of the wall as it connects to the sole of your foot. Feel the an energy tingling through the toes, up the ankle, through the shin, toward the knee, and down toward the left hip. Feel the sensations of the right sole of foot. Traveling up through the ankle, the shin, toward the knee. And notice how it feels down the outside and the backside of your right leg toward the hip. Feel the upper body soften and relax. Feel your whole body let go. Well, let's move on to the next side. Just taking that right leg over toward the left. If you need to, shuffle the hips away from the wall to create a little space at the side. And then pressing the left sole foot down into the wall. Pick up your hips, take them over toward the right. Take your arms wide, palms to face down first as you take your knees over toward the left. Then turn the palms to face up. Shuffle the shoulder blades so that the right shoulder blades comes down to meet the floor. Don't worry if your knees don't come all the way down. You want to feel the twist through the spine, but keep pressing that right shoulder and outer arm down into the floor. Feel the energy in the soles of the feet and the palms of your hands. In yoga, it is our duty, it is our time to witness and be fully present in what's happening in our mind and our body. Feeling the sensations, feeling the length of the breath, and what it feels to really breathe deeply. 
rather than the majority of the time where we work with a shallow breath. Try to soften the knees, shoulders, and go all the way out to the fingertips. You have nowhere else to be and nothing else to do. So surrender in this moment. Finalize the side with another three breaths. Again, taking particular attention to the breath, going all the way down into the belly, letting the belly balloon and fill up as you inhale. And then drawing the belly in, twisting through the abdominal space, up into the lungs, softening the ribs, and taking the breath all the way out through both nostrils. And then slowly rising back on up, taking the left sole foot back to the wall and crossing the right leg, taking sole foot down to the wall. Pick up the hips, shuffle them back to center, and just take a moment here to just reset, feeling the sensations through the sides of the body. And then just slowly roll over onto one side. Roll onto your side, and you're just gonna shuffle your bottom all the way into the wall. Okay, so you want the bottom to connect with the wall now, if your hamstrings are quite tight, have a little bit of a space from your bottom to the wall. And then from here, we're just gonna take the legs and extend them up the wall. So just taking the legs up the wall. So this one can be quite intense. We're gonna take a wide leg up the wall, okay? So we're gonna drop the left foot out toward the left and the right foot out toward the right. Now, you really kind of want your legs to come out as wide as they can. So you wanna feel the weight of gravity allowing, without taking out my plant, allowing the inner groin to open up. Try to relax through the toes. And if you feel at any time this becomes way too intense, then you can just take your feet in a little closer towards each other. We're releasing everything in our inner groin and we can release the hips because the back of the hips are resting to the floor, the lower back. And we're really starting to dig a little deeper into the inner groin. So those that really struggle with a wide-legged forward fold through the hamstrings or a seated forward fold, then this is a really nice way to just really target in this space. So let's close down our eyes and stay here in some silence. Just allowing the space to just be what it is. Feeling sensations, noticing breath, closing down the eyes, allowing everything to just rest down. 
back of the hands can rest to the floor. Palms gently facing up. Notice when your mind wanders away. Just gently drawing it back to this space, this moment. If you're like me, you may be settling into a space of bliss now where these sensations without their labels just feel so so, like such a release, they feel open. I feel like my body can extend, release, and be. Slowly start to take your hands to your outer thighs now and start to squeeze the inner thighs in towards each other and take the feet back up toward the ceiling. All right, so from here, we're gonna to start to bend our knees, take the soles of feet together and let the heels slide down back toward the groin. You can use the hands to gently press the knees out towards the wall, opening the inner groin a little deeper. We really just want the heels to fall in towards the groin wherever they'll go. Soles of feet pressing down in towards each other. And let's just take the hands to the belly. Keep the shoulders relaxing down. So find the space of hands just resting, the outer arms and shoulders resting down. And again, let's close our eyes, just feeling that space. Feeling that surrender. Heels may come all the way down to the groin. We want to find a space where they can settle and rest. Wherever you go, your feet may be still halfway up the wall and that's okay. It's all about how you feel in the space. How you can just let go.
And finally, just taking the hands to the thighs again, the hands to the thighs again. Start to draw the knees in towards each other. And once again, extend the legs up the wall, soles of feet facing towards the ceiling, flexing the toes back towards the shin. Now you can shuffle your bottom in a little closer if you can. So we're just taking Viparita Karani, legs up the wall. So once again, just allowing the blood to drain back from the feet, removing any stagnant energy and allowing our heart to rest. Everything draining back to the heart so the heart doesn't have to work so hard. And you'll feel in the space a real deep sense of calm, release. This is fantastic for bedtime and unwinding. You're feeling a little overstressed, a little overwhelmed. Just laying, feeling the sensations trickle through the feet, the legs, and even just noticing how your heart beats in your chest. Your lungs move as they expand and contract. Be witness to the beautiful unfolding of life itself in your own body. Close down your eyes here for the final minute. Acknowledging all the space of which you are and will be. Knowing that this physical body is made up of parts of matter that are always changing, always evolving, aging, having constant stresses to strengthen and to soften them. This is the way of life. And when we let go of expectations, the hurry, the need to be something, know that you are something. You are you, right here in this space. You are the space of your body, your mind, your emotions. It all comes from within. So take this time to reflect, to feel, and to be you. Slowly releasing, start to bend your knees, take them in towards the chest. Tippy toes can rest on the wall, hug the knees in towards the chest, hands atop of the shins. Just feeling the sensations through the legs for a moment. Maybe even rocking side to side, massaging either side of the spine, from your lower back to your upper back. And slowly releasing over onto one side and making your way back up to a seated position. Take your time and move slowly. Sit into a nice comfortable seat. 
And just take a moment to close down your eyes, hands resting in your lap or on top of your thighs. Close down your eyes. In the space, just slowly recognize the intention that you subconsciously set at the start of your practice. You chose this practice for some sort of reason and you'll be feeling all the benefits of that reason right now. Let's take our hands to our heart center in our Jali Mudra. Sealing our practice with our heart's intention, gently bowing the forehead toward the fingers. Together we say, Namaste. Thank you guys for joining me in today's practice. As I've loved this yin, this slowing everything down. I'm really looking forward to rolling out some more classes with you. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit the notifications bell so that you get noticed or you get notified every time a new class comes up. Until next time, see you later.